Michaela here at NAM 2019 with KUCR, and I'm here at the Guido exhibit with Eric, and he's going to explain a little bit of the product. So, Eric, um, can you tell us a little bit about Guido? Sure. Um, so, Guido is a digital music score device. So, the concept kind of came out a few years ago where, you know, what could we do to digitize the music score? You know, professionals of musicians, they carry around books, you know, stacks of books and sheet music. And it's really heavy and cumbersome and hard to find music. So what if we took all of that music, digitized it, and put it on a dedicated device just for musicians? So, you know, a lot of people like to use iPad Pros to do that, and that's fine. You know, it's a nice, simple device, it's a one page. But we've come up with a device that we think is a little bit better. So this is a, a dual screen digital music score device. It uses something similar to the Amazon Kindle. It uses e-ink technology. So it's a very clear display. Um, it's black and white, and it's very easy to see inside or outside. There's no glare on this screen at all. So it uses PDF files as the medium. So any PDF file that you have, whether it's a music score or a book, can be uploaded to this device. If you don't have your music scores in PDF, you can of course take your sheet music and put it on a scanner. Or what I like to do is just use my cell phone to take a picture and save it to PDF file, and then you can easily upload it to this device. So it's very easy to use. It's got these uh, switches on the left and right to scroll the music score, actually. Um, that's the last page. So, you can also, it also comes with this pen input, so you can make annotations. Oh, one more time. Oh, sorry, I'm on the white mode. Put it in black. So then you can make annotations on the device, any notes, annotations that you'd like. Um, you can either, you can even use a white function to white out certain parts. So say you wanted to change a note on the device, you could actually color white over the device, over the notes, and then use the black to write over it. So there's a lot of built-in functionality in this software, but the main thing is, you know, you can take all of your sheet music and digitize it and carry it around in a device that only weighs about a half a pound. It's a carbon fiber, so even if you dropped it or kicked it, it's still gonna be safe. Um, we hope that uh, you know, people will become interested in this device and think about using this um, in their professional uh, environment, in their music industry. No, yeah, it seems like a really good investment, especially um, when you showed me the whiteout function. I come from a choral music background, so there are times where you're reading notes, and you're like, whoa, there's too many notes going on. So if you really wanted to, you can just white out some of those notes so you can focus on your part. And I, I really like that you said it's made out of carbon fiber. And I think that that probably takes a little stress off of some musicians because with the iPad, you're paying thousands of dollars still, but then if it drops, you're done. So, so another advantage over the iPad is, you know, this uh, screen is plastic. So even if you slapped it close, it's not gonna break. If you dropped your iPad, the screen would crack. And this or if you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, if you're uh, not in a good mood and that happens, um, it could be a costly mistake. But this one is engineered that we think so well that even if it falls or drops or you spill water on it, it's still going to be usable. So. Yeah, and I really liked um, how you guys even have a, a pedal for piano players where you can change the page. I thought that that's fantastic. Because that was what I was worrying about. I was like, how is a piano player or a person whose hands are occupied going to change the page with their music? Sure. So one of the good things about this pe this pedal actually is, of course, it has the regular functionality to scroll the pages uh, left and right. You can also use the middle pedal to bring up your set list, and you can scroll through your set list and scroll through and, and choose the piece that you'd like to play all with the pedal functionality. So it's completely hands-free. And the other good thing about the pedal is it has a wired connection and it has a Bluetooth capability as well. So the reason we designed it like that was, you know, if it's just you doing a solo, Bluetooth is fine. But if you're in an environment where there's a lot of Bluetooth interference, um, you know, somebody could be, you know, blocking your Bluetooth channel. 
And if you're a professional, you can't let that happen. So in a professional environment where there's a lot of people using the cell phones or other devices, could be a lot of interference, we really recommend using the wired connection. So. I love this device. Like I feel like a lot of musicians could benefit from this. So thank you for explaining to me this awesome instrument. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, not really. <laughs> but. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're on the internet. If you'd like to look for us, just uh, search for Guido Music, and uh, you'll find us. And there's a lot more information on the website about this device. Thank you, Eric.